Hey everyone, Lone Wolf Jai here, and uh, well, over the weekend I decided to, uh, among the other things I did, I decided to sit down and give a, sh give, give a watch of Disney Pixar's latest film, Turning Red. Um, first of all, uh, I thought this was actually not a bad movie. It wasn't. It wasn't good. It wasn't bad. It was. I say in between. Story goes, a uh, young Asian girl named Maylin Lee, living in Toronto, is basically just has just turned thirteen, and finds out one evening that what finds out one night that, well, overnight. And the next morning, she finds out that. The 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 females of her family, female members of her family, are cursed. <clears throat> That they, that whenever they have whenever they're uh, they have extreme emotions, they turn into a they turn into a big red panda. Now, of course, there's a big story behind it. There's a, like a story behind it, and uh, well, I'm gonna say this: this movie is chock full of regular tropes. Um, <clears throat> first off, you have Family with a, a family with a curse. It's got a backstory to it. Uh, teenage girl growing up, uh, Asian girl doing doing well in school, or Asian person doing well in school. Um, <clears throat> teenager liking a certain type of music. In this case, a boy band. Uh, there's a, a bully, and the bully in school happens to have something in common with the main character. They bond at the end. Blah blah blah. All that. All that. All that stereotypical ball stuff. Um, I don't mind if it's like maybe one or two, but then it was chock full of it. Um, now it takes place in Toronto. The reason why I know is because towards at, at one point at the end of the movie, something happens and it takes place at this they, they are at these uh, that this uh, thing. thing this thing is going to be taking place at the Sky Dome. And I'm like thinking to myself, it's no longer called the Sky Dome. It's called Roger Center now. So, I'm um, cuz if if you don't for those who don't know, Roger Center is a multi-purpose venue in Toronto which uh currently whole houses the Toronto uh Blue Jays of Major League Baseball. It was also the home field for the Toronto Argonauts don't know where they went to but that's the, that's that's neither here nor there so <clears throat> um and i looked it up and it takes place in 2002 it didn't go by roger center until four years later so it they're they're accurate on that part um so it's this is your typical uh coming of age movie thing is though the whole turning into a giant red panda through through uh, strong emotions. It's based in allegory for puberty. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> now, this movie is actually pretty well done. Uh, there's a couple of uh, uh, voices in this movie in this movie that are done by some well. <clears throat> some fairly well-known Asian Asian actors. Uh, for example, Maylin's mother is played by Sandra Oh. Uh, the there's a there's a man who's in there's a man in, in their uh, area of Toronto that is in charge of doing a ritual. He's voiced by James Hong. Okay. But all in all, this movie it was okay. It was pretty. It was it was I think it was pretty good. Um. What, no, here's the thing. They were going to originally release it on theaters, but they pushed it to Disney Plus. Personally, I don't think that it would have lasted in the theaters too long. It probably would have, wouldn't have pulled in a lot of money, honestly. And whoever made that decision, whether it be Bob Chapek or whoever, did a good job doing that because this, if I can remember how how things were back in the day. This looks like it could have been just a, um, how, should I, how should I say it? Back in the 80s and 90s, there are a lot of Disney movies that were basically 
direct video. And and in today's case, it's 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 the same. They did the same thing, but from at that time, direct streaming. Okay. Now, pers- and honestly, though, lately, in my opinion, the Pixar has kind of had a steady decline in in quality. And some people have said that basically Pixar is the B team of Disney filmmaking, which I'm going to agree with them because uh, years ago the the CEO of of Pixar at the time, John Lasseter, uh, made some sexual misconduct allegations. Left, left, left Walt Disney. He now has uh, he now is a he's in a. I think it's called Skylander, or what else? It's some kind of it's it's an animation it's an animated studio it's a separate entity. But that's that's probably for a different video. All in all, this movie's pretty good for me. It's a one and done kind of thing. I uh, probably won't I'm probably not gonna watch it again. But it's actually it's it's worth a watch if you have Disney Plus. Go ahead and check it out. Until next time, this is Love Janet saying thank you all for watching. Take care of yourselves.